Hey YouTube, how's it going this Friday morning? Well, in this video, I want to go over a company called Torchlight Energy Resources. They're making a very bullish move, and I've had a ton of questions on this stock, so I want to go over that and tell you what I think might be coming next. And then, as always, I have some other very nice tradable charts I want to show you. If you're new to my channel, I like to trade and invest in typically lower priced stocks. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any future trading or investing ideas. But please remember, I am not a financial advisor, so do all of your own research before buying any of these stocks. All right, well, we'll just start off with the charts. And this is the current daily chart of Torchlight Energy Resources, ticker symbol TRCH. And this one is in the oil and gas sector, my absolute favorite sector at the moment. And I don't know how this one has escaped my clutches, but uh, it's at my attention right now. So let's go over it. All right, well, Torchlight, I'm assuming if you guys are still holding this thing, um, thing went on a parabolic move in the month of February, but it has since been pulling back and it found some nice support at that 50 period simple moving average. So, of course, if you're in a stock like this that has been pulling back substantially, that's the strongest area that you want to look at to add if you want to add to your position or if you just want to uh, trade the stock, wait for it to come down to that 50 period simple moving average and you will usually get a pretty decent trading opportunity. And that's exactly what you have gotten in Torchlight because this thing is booming up from the 50 period simple moving average right around $1.85 and now it is almost doubled to three and a quarter. So Torchlight is having a massive move up. Um, volume is starting to pick up a little bit today. The volume is already higher than the average daily volume, and it is still in the morning time. So um, this volume is definitely going to get heavier. Let's take a look at the 15-minute chart. If we take at the take a take a look at the 15-minute chart, that is, um, we can see that is making that perfect rounding bottom. It's amazing how many questions I get when a stock is starting to make this exact pattern, guys. So if if you want to learn any pattern in the market that is easy to trade, it's very reliable, trust me, it is this one right here. If you master this pattern, you can easily make a living in the market if you want to. I mean, I know this isn't the sexiest pattern out there, but it works more often than not, and it's very tradable. The, the risk is very defined on it, and it's very easy to enter. Now, getting out, of course, is the harder part because you never know when a stock is going to top out. So I'll leave that up to you guys. But I can show you how to get in and how to use this pattern. But anyway, um, you can see after this deep pullback, what you're looking for is that false break like we got on March 5th. Maybe that's March 6th. I don't know. Anyway, you got that false break. Boom, right back up into the consolidation. And then it starts to round up. And then after it starts to round up, what you want to look for is a clearly defined a resistance area with the most touches now on this torchlight pattern it's a little bit uh foggy as far as the resistance sometimes it's kind of hard to find sometimes it's pretty easy but if i was looking at one i would probably look at this area because it looks like it has the most touches and um, it's just breaking through it right now and it's following that eight period exponential moving average up so this is exactly what i like to see for a stock that is breaking out now, if we look at that daily chart again, when I go back to it, you can see that it's pretty extended. So what I would like to do when a stock is extended like that, I'd kind of wait for the breakout and then try to re-enter once it pulls back to that eight period exponential moving average, this white line on the chart. And that should usually give it another boost up at least one more time. But sometimes it uh, just keeps going after that. But if we back it out just a little bit more, um, you can see the nice rounding bottom. The lows are getting higher, and then the move starts to accelerate to the upside. And that's when you want to be jumping into these stocks. That's when they have the best chance to give you the biggest gain the fastest. So um, if you guys just keep trading this pattern and learn the ins and outs of it, I'm telling you, you get your trading account will be much better. But uh, let's go back to the daily chart real quick. Let me get this line out of here. So we can see the pattern just a little bit better. And like I'm saying, it's pretty extended right now. So normally when a stock is extended like this, um, I usually like to wait for a pullback. Now, when you do look at this stock in the daily uh, chart, it does look like it's rather extended. But when you, when you look at it intraday, 
you can see that the move is potentially just getting started. So when a lot of people want to avoid this move right here, just wait for a little bit of a pullback on that intraday chart. And uh, that could be a good entry to get into these stocks before they start that next move up. But Torchlight did get a pretty good bounce off that 50 period simple moving average. The volume is starting to come back in. Yes, it is not extraordinarily big like it was in the beginning parts of the move but those were parabolic moves um, you don't necessarily need it to go parabolic of course you want that but you don't necessarily need it to go parabolic right now in order to have a pretty good gain so if you guys are in torchlight right now i would probably sit tight because it looks like it's probably going to start or continue moving up and if you're not in it yet, I would kind of probably wait for a little bit of a pullback, um, especially if it pulls back to the eight period exponential moving average on this daily chart. I'd rather see it consolidate at this level a little bit and let this eight period exponential moving average catch up to it. I mean, that would be the perfect setup for me. But um, you can definitely see that strength is coming in to this chart. So uh, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if this thing is much higher in the near future. All right, well, the first one I want to show you is American Airlines Group, and this is the only one that I actually traded today in the Patreon group, and um, I actually bought options on American Airlines. I don't buy options very often, but it's Friday, and American Airlines is making one of these breakout patterns, so I wanted to take advantage of um, the Friday option that expires today, because I mean, if you get a decent uh, move on a stock, the option will move a lot higher on uh, the last day of expiration but uh, i bought these options at about 12 cents so 12 dollars and i unloaded half of them at 41 cents uh so 41 dollars each but it's looking like i probably should have unloaded the rest of them because the stock is pulling back not sure what the option is quoted at right now but i'm certainly it's certainly that has come down uh from where i sold the first half well, you never know, the, the American Airlines might take off and I might get a chance to sell the other half at a higher price. It's looking like it probably could rally into the end of the day, so I'm still hopeful. But let me uh, break down this chart real quick before I get into some of those other patterns. But this is just that uh, rounded bottom breakout pattern that I love to trade. You have this um, false breakdown, the move right back up into the consolidation, and then it starts rising into that resistance area. And if you get one of these on a Friday like we got today, uh, you can make quite a bit on the option if you're uh, if you're fortunate enough to catch it as it's breaking out, uh, which I was. But uh, just an absolute beautiful pattern when you look at it intraday. And if you get that breakout, um, you get a pretty good move. So I made a little bit more than a triple on that first lot. Hopefully I can close out the uh, second lot hopefully we get a bounce off this eight period exponential moving average and a catapult into a new high that would be super duper but uh, i just wanted to show you that uh, option trade that we made in the patreon group today now let's get to some of those other nice looking charts let me get this line off here in case i need to come back to this chart later uh, first one i want to show you is ngd this is actually a gold stock. This one is showing up on my accumulation scans. This thing is trying to get above this um, 200 period simple moving average as I'm recording this video. Um, gold, I have the um, opinion that gold is probably going to rally pretty soon. And um, I've been watching some of these low price gold stocks and uh, the price of gold is pulling back. So of course the gold stocks, or at least most of them are pulling back as well. But NGD is pulling back into this support area. And actually, um, I did a video on NGD, I think, last week. And um, they actually have uh, earnings that are projected to increase substantially in the next couple of years. So if gold does get a boost, I think uh, New Gold Incorporated could be a, a really good stock to buy and hold if the price of gold rallies because NGD's earnings will most likely do even better than what they are projected if you get a strong rally in the gold price so ngd is definitely worth uh, keeping an eye on and i'll actually link uh that video at the end of this video if you want to learn a little bit more about ngd's uh, fundamentals but uh, ngd is definitely making a bullish pattern right now and if it can get above uh, get above these moving averages i think it has a strong uh, chance of getting back to a new high uh, but the next one i want to show you is rave 
talked about rave yesterday and it is showing up on my scans again and if we zoom in a little closer we can see that it's holding that eight period exponential moving average perfectly and if it can bust through this resistance area right around a dollar fifty or so i think it could be off to the races with a rave restaurant group because this thing just keeps showing up on my accumulation scan so this thing is definitely under accumulation and uh, i'll be watching this one for a potential breakout over 150. Um, the next one that I want to show you is Zoometica. Zoometica I have done videos on in the past. You see we had this very nice uh, looking double bottom just above the 50 period simple moving average. And if we zoom in a little closer, we can see it's starting to make that nice rounding bottom and putting pressure on this um, well-defined resistance area of right around two and a quarter. And if we go intraday on that, we can definitely see that it is... Um, getting very close to that resistance area and if it can push through that area which it looks like it's probably going to do any day now um, i think it could be off to the races for zoometica again and it could be taken out this old high so zoometica is definitely one to keep an eye on if we get a breakout uh, next one i want to go over is clbs and some i believe some guys in the patreon were talking about this stock uh just yesterday or the day before saying it's got some social media buzz maybe around a uh, potential drug that's going to be approved soon but uh, it definitely looks like it's being accumulated it's popped above those moving averages and it is holding that eight period exponential moving average so if it can bust above this high right around probably two dollars and thirty cents i would call it i think clbs could be a big mover so this one i am keeping a sharp eye on and if it does break above that level, it's probably going to be fast. So I'm going to have to be quick on my feet to catch this one. But uh, CLBS is definitely worth watching. Uh, another one I want to talk about is SND. SND is pulling back a little bit. It was near the highs of the day when I first put it on this uh, watch list to uh, show you guys. Um, this one is also in the oil and gas sector. So just another strong lower price stock in this sector. And um, it's starting to round up. You know, if we go intraday on this one, surprise, surprise, same uh, type of pattern. Uh, you got the false break just a few days ago, and it is starting to round up. Now, this um, resistance area is going to be a little bit tougher to put on the chart. So this one is going to be a little bit subjective. I would probably call it $3.30 on uh, SND. If we go back to the daily chart, you can see there isn't super well defined resistance on these so these are a little trickier to trade but um it has a momentum to the upside nonetheless and i do think the uh, oil and gas sector is certainly going to continue to be strong going into the summer months and the last one i want to show you is one of our favorites on this channel which is sundial and if you look at this pattern on a sundial it had that reversal after it broke that 50 period simple moving average on one of my previous videos i said that it had a great chance of bouncing right around a dollar if it fell that far and it fell that far just a few days ago broke it just uh, momentarily and immediately reversed and now it's back above those moving averages and it's starting to make a nice bullish flag it's kind of hard to see because of these huge price bars you know this makes it this a little bit compressed but if we zoom in just a little bit closer i actually we might have to go intraday to see that a little bit better um, let's go to the 15 minute chart and if we go to the 15 minute chart we see we have a well defined resistance area right here around probably a dollar 45 to a dollar 50. so if sundial growers can get a move above a dollar 45 or a dollar 50 and hold it i think it could easily um, be heading towards the old highs because this one can really get going it's a very popular stock um, it's very popular on social media and a lot of people um, are, are watching this stock so it could definitely get some pretty good volume uh, coming into sundial growers that would be enough to push it up towards those old highs Okay, everybody, that is all I have for this video, so I'm going to end it right there. But if you have any questions or comments about any of these stocks, please leave them down there in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end, and until next time, take care, everybody.